Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to another show and tell. And today we've got Gohans. Yay! Uh, I got quite a few of these little Gohans and one large guy back there. Let's get right into it. Checking out little Gohan from the beginning of the series. He's one of the old school battle collection. He's got the uh, the clothes that also come off the plastic top piece that uh, that pops off and pops back together. He's got the one big piece of hair. He's very very small, uh, but he's a pretty solid character. He's got a good uh, you know they did a good, pretty good job on him. A little, little tiny guy uh, over here. I don't know how he jumps so crazily from. You know, from little Gohan up to uh, 11 year old Gohan or whatever. But uh, I really actually, uh, I like the way that they did the hair on this one. I feel like the, uh, the like from the front view it looks just like it would uh, in the show. But in uh, from the side view I don't feel like they got it, you know, they didn't really get it right on that part. Uh, but he's got the blue, blue belt, he's got the big goofy holding a Coke hands, you know, holding a pop can kind of hands. Yeah, piccolo feet, piccolo outfit. Uh, this next one, I uh, I actually altered it a little bit because it bothered me that the uh, the only time he has the red belt is and uh, and wears the cape and stuff or not not the cape but the uh, the little the little neck poof the little neck poofy. The only time he wears that is during the Broly movie is when he has a red uh, has the red belt. And so I decided to actually alter it. This is like one of the big cape pieces kind of like that guy has but that one doesn't come off that was a solid piece this one actually is separate pieces that would come off and it had the shoulder pads but I liked it uh, I, I felt like I wanted to make it fit a little bit better with the with like the Broly movie characters and this one I actually like his hair a lot better there's a lot more detail and definition and from the side he looks he still looks a little more like Gohan than you know than from the front kind of like that guy uh, and I, yeah I just I really like that one. He's got super beefy arms, and he's pretty large to be an 11-year-old child, but whatever, you know. <laughs> Back there, we've got uh, going to uh, high school, Orange Star High School Gohan, with his lovely purse, because, you know, he's a, he's a badass. He's a martial artist, and he's got himself a nice little blue purse. He's got a, a silly little look on his face. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good figure. It's, you know, like one of the few that I saw where he's actually like, when he's going to school and stuff, like the, the, the outfit that he wears when he's going to school. Uh, this next one's pretty simple. This little, the little guy here, or not little guy, but the, uh, he's just wearing the black leotard thingy, and he's got the boots, but it is actually just, uh, later in the, uh, later during the episode where he is wearing the Saiyaman outfit, um, he he just takes the the green and the cape off, and then he turns Super Saiyan, and that's what he ends up looking like. So really, this this is like one of the more boring figures that I've seen and actually bought for some reason. But uh, I still like to have it as part of the collection. I like the Saiyaman. I think it's pretty cool. It you know he's got his little pose. He's got the watch. Uh, he's got the cape, he's got the, uh, this is one of two different versions of the head. I'll pop it off and get the other one on there so you guys can see it. Right over here. Pop it on there. And you can see, he's the Great Sailman! I think it's kind of cool that he comes with, with two heads. I, I think that's neat. And back here, got, uh... The uh, Gohan, when he is training with the Z-Sword, it actually came with the sword. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It's one of the only ones like uh, that has the uh, the Supreme Kai outfit from when he's actually training and stuff. That's kind of cool. He came with the sword. Uh, there was a few other characters that came with the exact same sword, but this is the only one that really makes sense. His hair is pretty cool. It's kind of a little tuft in the front. Not too bad. I think that one's kind of cool. This guy's a little, uh, a little scrawny, but it actually kind of works, and I kind of like it. Uh, there's nothing terribly special. He's got a different, you know, he's got his hand out, karate, into a karate position. His hair's okay. He's a little, a little scrawny looking, in my opinion, especially next to this crazy beefcake over here. And uh, I'm actually a piece of his, uh, a piece of his top came off. 
but I, I figured I'd go ahead and show you the front because that piece comes off just like so and they snap back together uh, but uh, that's another one of those old school ones that came in the box with the battle collection and uh, then I have the big guy get a little closer to the big guy here he is super cool uh, he's got the you know like dirt on the he's got dirt on his shoes he's got dirt in his wound the battle damage he's got blood you know he's got blood all over him he's got a pretty ferocious look in his face his arm is screwed he's about to use the one-handed Kamehameha wipe out cell spoilers spoilers everyone and it's just, uh, yeah, he's got, he's been scratched up on the back. A very cool definition in the hair. And, uh, yeah, that was, this is a really solid figure. I really enjoy this one. I think it's pretty cool. It's got a good, a lot of detail, good look on his face and everything. And, uh, that is it for today's episode of Gohans. I hope that you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time, and I'll tell you what we're going to be talking about. Freeza! See you next time, guys.